Hello, welcome to another edition of Iron Port. This program is proudly brought to you by the Ghana Community Network Services, GCNet, Ghana Revenue Authority, West Blue Consulting, Goyle Company Limited, and Serene Insurance. Our media partner is the Business and Financial Times. Folks, the coronavirus pandemic is finally here with us. And this week, we are discussing how to ensure business continuity amid the threat of the coronavirus. But before that though, the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority has been tackling the spread of the coronavirus with intensive measures. Let's take a look at some of the activities so far. Declaration of COVID-19 as a pandemic for the World Health Organization and Ghana recording seven positive cases as of March 17, 2020, the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, in consultation with agents of cruise vessels, has advised the postponement of all cruise ships scheduled to take berth at the ports of Tema and Takrade. Additionally, the Port Authority is liaising with shipping agents to identify all high-risk vessels that may be coming into the country for the necessary precautionary actions to be taken. The Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority has also taken the rare but critical decision to suspend all recreational visits or tours by individuals or entities, including educational, security and corporate institutions with immediate effect. The Port Authority would also like to take this opportunity to inform all prospective students who wish to undertake their internship with the Port Authority that this window is suspended until further notice and advises students to avoid coming to the offices seeking such opportunities opportunities. Again, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, visits to patients admitted to GPH's health facilities in Tema and Takrade will be strictly regulated and urge family members and loved ones to bear with the medical teams while they do their utmost best under the current circumstances. We wish to assure the public that there is no immediate threat to the port community, but this action has been taken out of abundance of caution and part of our collective effort as a nation to beat the virus and safeguard the health of our stakeholders and the general public. Meanwhile, the Port Authority will continue with its sensitization exercise of port users and all stakeholders and wish to encourage each and every one to follow precautionary measures as outlined by officials of Port Health, GPHA Medical Team and Marketing and Corporate Affairs Department. The following contacts can be reached for further clarification. Headquarters 0243-924972, Tema 020-822. 5044 Takrade 0244 829961 Hashtag Spread Calm Not Fear Anand Waraj, consisting the Director General and some senior management members of GPHA, has told all key areas identified as entry and exit points of the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority to inspect the level of preparedness of the authority in combating the importation and or the spread of the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. In addition to the provision of hand sanitizers, soaps and running water, the Port Authority has ensured that all who engage the operational and administrative areas of the port have their temperature checked as the organization is pursuing different methods to contribute to the national drive to inhibit the spread of the coronavirus. The Director General of GPHA, Michael Luguje, said, the Port Authority will ensure it puts together the needed logistics to augment the organization's capacity to help the national emergency action. And we are providing the necessary budget to get the resources in place to make sure the necessary equipment and sanitizers and all other logistics that are required are available for us to be able to contain and prevent uh, this pandemic. GPHA assures all of its cherished stakeholders that it is committed to doing any and everything in its power to safeguard the health and economic interest of all port users and the country as a whole. In their related development, the General Manager of Health Services at the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, Dr. Vitos Anabisi, has revealed that the Health Services Department of the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority has designated some staff to be specially trained as frontline officers to deal with all cases related to the coronavirus. He also said, currently, drastic procedures are being taken to ensure patients who show symptoms 
of coronavirus are not only given the maximum attention but are also completely isolated from other patients and staff of the GPHA clinics. So far, no positive cases has been recorded from the seaports of Ghana. As part of preventive measures to avert the spread of the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, management of the port of Takrade has begun the screening of all port users at the entrance and exit points of the port. Management has also ensured the availability of running water, soaps, hand sanitizers at all establishments within the enclaves of the port of Takrade as part of efforts to enhance hygiene procedures. The Medical Services Department of GPHE has designated some staff to be specially trained as frontline health officers to deal with all cases related to the coronavirus. In the meantime, in addition to sensitization exercises, the Takrade port has designated two separate holding areas to address potential cases of coronavirus. Simultaneously, GPHE has suspended the intake of cruise vessels, port tours, and academic internships due to the COVID-19. A GPHA Interagency Emergency Preparedness Committee on COVID-19 has also been set up to structure more effective standards of operating in the fight against the spread of the coronavirus. Earlier in Tema, the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, in collaboration with the Port Health Unit of the Ghana Health Service, embarked on a sensitization drive within the port community to educate stakeholders on the new coronavirus emerging from the Far East, with special focus on its prevention. The month-long sensitization campaign saw the allied team of health experts educate members of the fishing community, employees of the Ghana Port and Harbors Authority, at the various operational and administrative departments, stakeholders of GPHA including the Customs Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority, the Meridian Port Services, the Ghana Dock Labour Company, the Tema Shipyard, the Shipping Lines, the Ghana Shippers Authority, transport unions, freight forwarders and customs, as well as workers who work in and around the port enclave with the objective that all people who engage in some form of interactions in the port community are well informed about the disease. The various groups of people were guided on precautionary measures against coronavirus infection, including good hygiene practices and the wearing of nose masks and gloves for workers who go aboard vessels. GPHA took the awareness program a notch higher by training frontline officials from the Marine Operations Department, Fire and Safety Department, the Transport Department, and the Tema Shipyard who directly encounter travelers to the port as part of preventive measures. In addition, all entry and exit points at the port of Tema, Golden Jubilee Terminal, GPHA headquarters, Tema Port Administration Block, among other places, have been screening staff and other port users before they are allowed into the authorities' building. Again, hand sanitizers, water and soap have been made available to staff and port users for use. So still on the coronavirus pandemic um, and in line with keeping with the president's directive to avoid the spread and importation of the coronavirus into the country, I am Port Engage, the director of the Port of Tema, the CEO of the Meridian Port Services, as well as the Tema Sector Commander, of customs um, who will acknowledge the severity of the coronavirus pandemic. However, they maintain the port is still operational and um, their outfits are taking up measures to ensure um, human interaction is reduced in the port so that the port doesn't serve as a conduit or uh, doesn't play a role in the importation and spread of the coronavirus. Take a listen. The director of Port of Tema, Sandro Poku, the CEO of Meridian Port Services, Mohamed Samara, and the Tema Customs Sector Commander, Joseph Educhi, have urged freight forwarders and stakeholders in the port clearance chain to take advantage of technology such as the paperless systems as the country strives to control the spread of the coronavirus. Speaking on Iron Port's live interactive platform, the industry players maintained that the ports of Ghana remain operational. However, their individual outfits are undertaking effective measures that would ensure human interactions are reduced significantly so that the ports do not contribute to the spread of the coronavirus. We will still maintain the same level of service to everybody. And we will work 24-7 with the customs and with GPHA to make sure ships are coming in and out. With the number of, uh, let's say, uh, port users or casuals entering the port, you know, we would have to reduce the numbers. Number of freight forwarders coming into the, let's say, the uh, Golden Jubilee Terminal to clear 
their containers. We'd have to structure, mm -hmm. let's say, 20 people within a certain time frame, and then, you know, by appointment system, so yeah. that we don't have a lot of crowding in our terminals. Then we have, we have also decided that uh, we, we, we will not allow people to come into the offices because, because now, now we can consider that the horizontal trans transmission is, is very, very da dangerous. The director of Port of Tema, Sandro Poku, acknowledged the severity of the coronavirus pandemic and said the Port of Tema is considering more drastic methods of reducing human contact in the port areas, in addition to methods that have already been put in place over the past couple of months. She revealed that currently, not only are workers and visitors in the port screened on a daily basis and hygiene practices enforced, but GPHA has also ensured that aid buses for transporting staff, as well as officials, Official meetings are decongested greatly. With the meetings, we would not have to meet, you know, at a round table to discuss things. We'll be doing the teleconferencing and things like that. So, and then even the vessels coming in, we would have to know if two vessels, so that we will limit the number of people on the terminals, we would have to do that. Sandro Poco indicated that the port security would ensure that crew changeovers that he that too was a common practice in the shipping industry is seized completely in order to prevent imported cases of coronavirus through the seaports. Um, now we will not be able to give assure passes to even crew who will not normally be you know, bringing the cargo. So okay. nobody will be able to go out. So no disembarkation no, by the crew members? No. Okay. She also revealed that the ports would henceforth ensure that the number of importers and freight forwarders who enter the ports for their goods will be reduced significantly. And in addition to that, a more robust appointment scheme would be deployed by the port authority to reduce the human traffic in the port. Now this family and friends entourage, certainly that's not the way to go now. We'd have to cut down on that. So if the shipping agent is coming and just the importer, just one person, then you may be allowed in. The Chief Executive Officer of the Meridian Port Services, Mohamed Samara, disclosed that a crisis committee has been set up to address operations during this era of coronavirus pandemic. He entreated importers to make use of the effective data system that MPS had invested in. We have invested uh, heavily in the paperless system and we have successfully converted Tama Port into a paperless port. Mm. And uh, we have invested also in pay gates, you know, so uh, we have a good number of uh, uh, freight forwarders who took advantage of this pay gate and now registered and they pay us. Uh, you can see your invoice online, you know, and you can pay your invoice online if you are properly registered. And I encourage everybody. The CEO of MPS reviewed that the port terminal is considering sending some of its administrative staff home where they can remotely work while the operational staff observe strict preventive measures. And we will start to look at converting certain positions, you know, into a, a remote access. For example, accounts department might work from home. They need the screen, they need that physically, they don't have to be in the office. So we will reduce the number of people mm -hmm. who are working, coming to office and have them quarantined at home. The Tema Sector Commander of Customs, Joseph Educe, said at the Tema Long Room, importers apply for changes in their manifest, which can't be done electronically. So they troop into the Long Room to have their changes effected. He said the custom division, in addition to the provision of hand sanitizers and soaps and running water advantage points at its offices, full personal protective equipment have also been distributed to custom officers who go on board vessels and also take physical inspection. It is very ne necessary that say that we, we protect office, such officers and so we have been able to, to secure, secure the protective gear for them. At least we are... All we the have, officers? Uh, no, not all the officers. Who go on board? On board. We are, we have, we are, so far we have had... 20 of them, so we have okay. give, 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 given it. So any time All of go, them have full PPEs? Yes, full PPE. The assistant commissioner also said the customs division will reduce the workload of officers and adopt a scheme that will make officers rotate frequently so that a large number of workers do not work at the same time. If it comes to the crunch, then, then we, sh we, sh we, sh we, sh we should do some, some, something we call shift system okay. within, within the team. We, we, we break ourselves into into some into, into different different into small smaller groups. Okay. So where the officers, the custom staff, custom staff will come and work, and, and work, and then, and then and then so uh, go and others will take others over. Will take over. So that if if we come for day, 
to, to, today, then somebody will be in the house. Yeah. And then the following day, we don't come. Yeah. The assistant commissioner also hinted that customs may adopt a drop box system where documents are left in an information box and lifted by officers to work on and later picked up by freight forwarders. Put no, no, notice that drop your, your application in, in at, the, at this place. Officers will come and take the application so that to be, they, they will be processed and then you come back and take so that we will reduce uh, the, the interaction, human interaction. interaction. Okay. Mohammed Samara did not rule out a potential shutdown of the port terminal should the local situation become worse. He, however, stated that there is an unlikely situation and MPS is hoping to remain in operations due to the essential nature port operations play in Ghana's economy. And as you know, the port is an essential service. Mm -hmm. There could be a box of medicine that needs to be moved. Yeah. There could be a container of food that has to reach the market. So for this essential service, we are preparing ourselves to look at, at the possibility of uh, reducing our uh, activity. The NPS boss admitted that even though container volumes have not reduced in Tema, there's a major concern by port operators that if the pandemic reaches absolute severity in the long term, the ports is likely to suffer. At the moment, uh, we haven't seen any drop in the volume. Okay. You know, uh, but uh, that doesn't mean going forward we won't. The director of the port of Tema corroborated the CEO of NPS submission but described the resumption of work by factories in China as a silver lining as China remains as Ghana's leading trading partner. The only uh, silver lining is that the factories in China have started working. working. Yes, yeah. so... Maybe. That, that sounds good. Yes, we can look forward good. to that. Sandro Poku said GPHA will consider waiving some rent charges that will be accrued as a result of a direct impact of the Port Authority's measures due to the coronavirus prevention, and that will be done on a case-by-case -case basis. She urged the shipping lines to consider similar initiatives when it comes to demorages. We're all in the port community, so um, when things come up like this, we'll have to all rally together. Uh, because right now we all have to make sacrifices and so we will be talking to our stakeholders, the shipping lines, to look at these um, the demerages as they come up. Both Mohamed Samara and the sector commander of customs touted that the Tema ports operate a very liable paperless systems and port users should take advantage of that and function remotely to prevent physical human-to-human -human contacts. The various industry players called on the assistance and the compliance by the general public in all measures deployed at the port so that they can collectively complement the country's efforts to end the spread of the pandemic. Contain the spread, we, 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 we need every, everybody on board. As we are uh, just in, uh, sensitizing customer of our officers, all other stakeholders might do the same. And when you, when, when you come to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to us to, to do business with, 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 with us, you, 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 you must abide by the action points. So the industry players are urging the general public to comply with all the measures deployed at the port so they can collectively um, support the country's efforts to end the spread of the coronavirus. Ion Port returns after this break. Here's innovation from Goyle that takes you further. New Gaul Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 tubes have been expertly crafted with the latest in liquid engineering technology, highly advanced for modern engines, prolongs oil change intervals, save you fuel, clean, protect and enhance engine performance. The way engines work has become complex and Goyle has innovated to stay ahead. Expertly crafted lubricants that work excellently with all petrol and diesel engines of today. New Goal Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 News. Innovation that takes you further. Goyle. Good energy. Dear valued client, the Ghana Trade Hub mobile app is now live to make it easy to track your consignment and know the estimated duty payable for both general goods and used vehicles. We are pleased to inform you that the Ghana Trade Hub mobile app is available for download on Google Play Store for Android users and the App Store for Apple users. The Ghana Trading Hub mobile app is now live. Download and never be cheated. This is powered by the Smart Ports Project under the auspices of the Government of Ghana and the Ghana Revenue Authority.
Smart Port, improving Ghana's ease of doing business. Because you see, without our taxes, we wouldn't have good roads, good schools, better hospitals, street lights, and other very important social amenities. When we pay our taxes, we give our children free and quality education. Tell that my money too small. Why should I pay my tax? Look, small. Salifu, it doesn't matter how small or big your business or income is, you still have to pay your taxes. The little taxes from each and every one of us, when put together, could give your community clean water. Or that deprived school with tables and chairs. Please pay your taxes. It is your responsibility. It is your civic duty. It is the law. Oh, how are you? Hi Yvonne, a few words please. Everyone is talking about the fire at your production house last week. How are you holding up? Has production stalled? <laughs> no, 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 not at all. My crew and everyone on my set is perfectly fine because I insure with serene insurance. As a matter of fact, I've had all my equipment replaced, including the vehicles that were affected. My workers have been sorted out. Even my production downtime has been covered, so it's all good. I have a meeting to attend to, so I have to get going. Sorry about that. Which insurance company did you mention? Serene Insurance, the new face of insurance, a member of First Sky Group. Welcome back. Let's take a look at some local news and activities happening in Ghana's port and maritime industry. The International Maritime Hospital continues to invite the general public to get their hearts screened at the ultra-modern facility at a discounted cost of 250 Ghana cities. Persons who visit the International Maritime Hospital to screen their hearts will as an additional package have the opportunity to check their blood pressure, body mass index, fasting blood sugar test, glycated hemoglobin test, fasting lipid profile test, ECG, as well as free lifestyle modification counselling. A family physician specialist, Dr. Ye Chan Boateng said, heart plays a crucial role in the human body. Hence, the need for all persons to endeavor to know the state of their hearts. We want people to walk around with healthy hearts. We want people to know that they are healthy. So just come in and let's take a look at your heart. She said, persons who want to book an appointment to get their hearts screened can call the number 055-222-2290. Blood. If your heart can't pump well, if it doesn't work well, we are not going to have a healthy life. You could die, you could get a stroke, you could get a heart attack. So these are some of the things we are trying to reduce your risk of getting. Ghana's indigenous oil marketing company, Goyal, has donated some essential items to the Ghana Private Road Transport Union as the company's contribution to the nation's emergency action plan combats the coronavirus. The items include 30,000 pieces of hand gloves, 30 gallons of sanitizers, 2,000 pieces of nose masks, and 300 pieces of rubbing alcohol. Goyal has also given out 10,000 Ghana CDs to GPRTU to sponsor their feather purchases and educational campaign across the country. The Chief Operation Officer of Goyal, Alex Azu, said, considering that GPRTU is a major stakeholder of Goyal, as well as a critical role commercial vehicles could play in either preventing or contributing to the spread of coronavirus, it was incumbent upon the oil marketing company to embark on this donation exercise. He urged drivers and passengers alike to abide by the government's directive towards the prevention of the spread of the global pandemic and indulge in all the public health protocols that have been set. This is the time to sacrifice our comfort with the thing that we think are uncomfortable because in the long run it will benefit the whole country. Uh, if you look at what is happening, one person can transmit to as many people as possible. So if we know that we are protecting, we are going to save a lot of life. The national chairman for the Ghana Private Road Transport Union lauded Gulf's noble initiative to plowing back some of its profit towards the protection of the commuting public and entreated Ghanaian road users to continue to patronize Gulf products. And to matter to us, I have to say, I'm going to share the idea of Gulf, and I'm going to be able to share the idea of Gulf. 
some international port and maritime news happening around the globe next. Cruise liner giant Carnival Corporation and PLC has offered select cruise ships from the company's global cruise line brands to communities for use as temporary hospitals to help address the escalating impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on healthcare systems around the globe. These include ships from Carnival Cruise Line, Holland America Line, Princess Cruises, and p and Cruises Australia. Carnival ships are being proposed to be used as temporary healthcare facilities to treat non-COVID-19 patients, freeing up additional space and expanding capacity in land-based hospitals to treat cases of COVID-19. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, German shipping major Hapag Lloyd says it expects a difficult year ahead that would result in necessary fleet adjustments and lower earnings. For 2020, Hapag Lloyd expects an EBITDA of 1.7 billion euros, an equivalent of 1.8 US dollars, to 2.2 billion, an EBIT of 0.5 to 1 billion euros. According to the carrier, the forecast for 2020 is subject to considerably higher uncertainties than normal, particularly due to the coronavirus outbreak. After a decent start of 2020, global container volumes will be impacted by the global coronavirus crisis, and the magnitude of that cannot be determined right now. Here's innovation from Goyle that takes you further. New Goal Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 Lubes have been expertly crafted with the latest in liquid engineering technology. Highly advanced for modern engines. Prolongs oil change intervals. Save you fuel, clean, protect and enhance engine performance. The way engines work has become complex and Goyle has innovated to stay ahead. Expertly crafted lubricants that work excellently with all petrol and diesel engines of today. New Goal Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 News. Innovation that takes you further. Goyle. Good energy. Oh, how are you? Hi Yvonne, a few words please. Everyone is talking about the fire at your production house last week. How are you holding up? Has production stalled? <laughs> no, 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 not at all. My crew and everyone on my set is perfectly fine because I insure with serene insurance. As a matter of fact, I've had all my equipment replaced, including the vehicles that were affected. My workers have been sorted out. Even my production downtime has been covered, so it's all good. I have a meeting to attend to, so I have to get going. Sorry about that. Which insurance company did you mention? Serene Insurance, the new face of insurance, a member of First Sky Group. It's now time for the schedule of vessels in the port, those at Anchorage and those expected in the coming weeks, plus the Bank of Ghana action rates, which you need to know to clear your cargo with. This brings us to the close of this edition of Iron Port. Thank you for watching. <laughs>